Indy Mogul. Hi, I'm Grace Randolph from Beyond the Trailer, and this is Edgar Wright, the mind behind the film adaptation of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, among other things. So, Scott Pilgrim DVD, tomorrow. And you were asked to, you were first approached to direct this film in 2004, right? That's right. Yeah, I was uh, a screening of Shaun of the Dead. One of the producers uh, pressed the first volume of Scott Pilgrim into my into my grubby hands. Wow! And said, you have to make this movie. So it's been a long journey. Care yeah. to reflect? Yeah. Well, uh, Brian is the O'Malley who wrote the books has been writing them for the last six years, and I think for five and a half of those years we've been sort of working on the adaptation. Uh, I made another film, Hot Fuzz, in the interim whilst he was still writing the book. So it's been something that's been, you know, uh, in the works for quite a long time. And, you know, I, I, I would hope that it kind of shows on screen that, you know, we put a lot of work into it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, even if you haven't seen Scott Pilgrim, people have heard of Scott Pilgrim. Why do you think the film has captured public attention so strongly? Um, well, I would hope if you'd heard of Scott Pilgrim, you would eventually want to go and watch Scott Pilgrim. Tomorrow, <laughs> like, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help us any if you just talk about it. You should really, like, watch it as well. That would be my recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, speaking of attention, you have a huge fan base, all right? And they have some questions for you. Okay. The first is from Crackshot, who'd like to know, why was the decision made to change the original ending of the film? Uh, because the books were still being written and uh, Brian changed his ending of the books. He had a different ending that was different from our ending. And then he came up with a third ending that he sort of uh, had a change of heart and sort of felt happy about it. And we thought it was great. And so we changed our ending to reflect that. Although you do see the original ending on the Blu-ray and the DVD. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. excellent, excellent. So also, you know, uh, Michelle Dunbar would like to know, what do you think makes a good adaptation? For instance, does it need to be faithful to the source material? I think you have to be faithful to the source material in some way. I think with Scott Pilgrim, we had to condense kind of six books into one movie. So it was different structurally, and the timeline is different. But the key thing for me was to get the tone right. Mm -hmm. Um, because we couldn't cover the entire plot and, you know, and Brian Lee O'Malley, the creator, was never, I, I think he actually preferred that the film was slightly different. Uh, so really it was about capturing the tone of the humor and the sort of the level of reality and how crazy it gets and so that was, that was my kind of real goal was to kind of make something which uh, exists, exists perfectly on the page work as live action. Oh, cool. And well, also, James William Raynard would like to know, do you think it's important for someone to go to film school to become a successful filmmaker? Not necessarily. I never went to film school, and uh, I know plenty of directors who never went to film school, so you don't mm. have to go to film school. That said, I wouldn't say don't go to film school if you have the opportunity. Uh, when I was, uh, I went to art college for two years, and when I applied for various film schools, they said I was too young to be a director. <gasps> they said, come back in five years, and I, I, didn't, I didn't go back. You couldn't wait. No, I couldn't wait, so I didn't go back. <laughs> but I would not recommend it. Cool. And so, also, Reese Bellamy would like you to know you're one of his favorite directors, and he loves you. Is that a question? Or is this is a statement. It's just a, it's a statement. statement. He wrote it eight times on my Facebook page. Now, so Reese, is that ask. a girl or a boy? It's a very nice young boy who wants to be a filmmaker. Well, I love you too, Reese. <laughs>